can... Are we live? I think we are. We're good now. I'm not going to be weird now. You'll never see. You'll never see it. You'll never see why I restarted my stream. Because I was going a little nuts and I was by myself. And I felt weird. <laughs> no. Technical difficulties. It happens sometimes. So we're here. Here we are at the mid boss, right? Okay, we're at the mid boss. Welcome to. You know what? If no one watches this tonight while I'm actually live streaming and you're catching the past broadcast, we're at the mid boss. It's Icky. You know, I'm. Just tell me if I'm wrong. I always feel like that dude's name is is Iggy. There is one of Bowser's sons is Iggy, right? Who is that? His name really isn't Mecha. I feel like Iggy has pink hair. I don't know for sure. Anyway. He's got a lot of health. It's kind of frustrating how much health he has. And the drone can switch... I guess drones can switch path. That's fine. That was a lot of damage. Even with a shield on. So we gotta stay away from Mecha Jr. As much as possible. Because that hurts. Yeah, you can't... He blocks your path. That's an interesting concept. Let's weaken both of them before I start running away. I'm gonna go this way. Take some cover? He can't tell me. Please tell me Mecha Jr. can't fit in the pipes. I think I would be so mad if Mecha Jr. just walks over to a pipe and balls up <laughs> and rolls right through. Because I was already mad that the Smashers can do that. But if Mecha Jr. can do that, things are incredibly screwed with this game. I can kill the drone, or I can keep knocking on, knock, knock, knocking on Mecha Jr. Oh yeah, I forgot he chases. Dang it, he chases for six squares. I hope I'm away. Oh. He knocked out his own drone. Nope, I'm about to get hit. 168. That's a bad hit. I gotta make sure I move before I do damage. That's a pain. Alright, well, can we... I'm gonna take cover, because I can't really do any more attacks. I can jump on that guy's head, but it's gonna do 70 damage. It's not quite enough to do anything, and I wasn't gonna be in cover. So, well, that's a problem. Alright, let's see how many squares he's got. He's got one, two, three, four, five. He, I don't think he can make it here. So... Let's go there. And then I can give protection to uh, Mario. Dang. That's like right on the edge. And it's going to hit Mario. I just hate how I line stuff up. And sometimes the mid bosses have more than like one round. They have more than one phase. They'll have three phases. So what is this guy's phase gonna be? I really don't want to hit Mario, so I'm just gonna... It's a very small attack damage anyway on Mecha Jr. So I think I'm just gonna do the enemy turn. I don't want to hurt Mario that much. I'm not staying far back enough. 
I'm not staying far back enough? That makes sense. Anything I say tonight just doesn't sound right in my head because of one beer. Just one beer. But I don't drink hardly ever. So that's why one beer messes me up. Okay? Accept me for, accept me for who I am. A weak beer drinker. Okay, I can tackle. I can move one square. If I do one square, how many how many squares he got? He's got enough to do damage, I think. He's got one. Wait, hold up. Can I lock? I can. All right. Uh, I don't even know where one square begins with him. Like, right. He's so massive. Like, what's one square for Mecha Jr.? Is this it? Is that where it starts? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he could do damage to me if I hit him from here. We'll go there. Ninety percent burn chance. Sounds like a good idea to me. And then Peach can't move. Peach can't even hit him. <clears throat> that wasn't a great that was not a great strat. Oh my god, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I can't kill that guy in one hit. So Mario is not going to have... He's not going to have any cover. I told him. I could move him here though. But then his... Like I can't hit anything from there. However, if I attack from here... I'll hit him, and then I can move back, because he can't he can't reach me. So we're good. Crit! Yeah, it's a crit. Yeah. Is that? It's a brick house? Yeah, it's a brick house. Yeah, it's a crit. Yeah. Is that like a country version of it? I think so. Oh, I can hit him now. Great. That was perfect. Right in the balls. Right in the mecha balls. You know, the, those are the same kind of balls you put on the bottom of your truck. It's mandatory to get those balls on the bottom... On the bottom of your truck. On the back of your... You know, the tail of your truck. Right? Everybody else that owns a truck, you put balls on them, right? It's funny. It's super funny. I'd like to know if that's a regional thing. Like, do people up north have the pleasure of driving near trucks with balls on them? Ever. Because it's definitely a Midwest and Southern thing. Both my Southern living and <laughs> current Midwestern living, uh, I've had the pleasure of driving near and uh talking with an individual that owns balls on on their trucks i just don't have commentary for it so i just sit here and i'm gonna shake my head on it I'm just gonna nod you know it's okay to own balls for your truck it's america you know Buy what you want to buy. I got Funko Pops. You know? 
That's that's equal to balls on the bottom of a truck. Right? God, I really not doing it here, especially if Mecha Jr. has more than one phase. Which I'm gonna say he does. This seems like it's too easy. Too easy. I don't know, I'm feeling I feel like I should sing. I've had it requested by a good friend of mine. He said you should definitely 100% sing it in every stream. Funky funky singing from the 90s. He was very specific. 90s singing. I was going for 70s or 80s in my head. I must be way off with how I view those decades. Gosh. We are taking a lot of risk with this. 540 life. We're gonna do it. Ninety percent burn, and it did it. Oh, he's immune to burning because he lives. He lives in a volcano. Look at that. I thought he was more than six squares away. He obviously was not more than six squares away. Now, if he dies... No, I can't get close enough with the hammer. Alright, well, if I do a bounce crit, please do it. Yes! Oh, he could have died. And he's immune to all buffs. He's immune to that shit. Motherfucker. Motherfucker be immune to that shit. Why? Oh man, she's gonna die. Yeah. She, she's gone. That was a crit. She's really gone. He's almost gone. Alright. Tell me you don't have more than one phase. That would be amazing. Cool. Where did he come from? That little rabbit. I didn't see him. Was he like in that flying cup? Yes, we f we fucking did it finally. Got the rabbit. The famous Yoshi, and with Spawny, no less, fortune has finally smiled upon us. I wonder what Yoshi does. I'm assuming he's equivalent. I, well, I don't know, because Princess Peach doesn't use a sentry, and Rabid Peach does use a sentry, a drone. Rabid Yoshi uses a machine gun. That's the primary weapon. It does regular Yoshi. Yuge. Yuge. Yoshi Yuge? Does regular Yoshi Yuge a uh, machine gun? What are we looking at? Oh, him. He's a robot rabbit? I thought he just had like time travel goggles on or VR. AR? AR but goggles? I don't know what those are. There's a lot of text that I'm just not... I haven't read it at all. So I'm not going to start now. Let's see here. Um, The positives... Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not going to start now. And then I start immediately. Going back on what I say is something that I do quite often. 
I got a fair out of that. You had to do that in three turns. I don't really understand how you can do that in three turns, but... Cool. Yoshi! Oh! He has a machine gun, but does he have a rocket launcher for his secondary? And... Oh man, he's got like a hero sight. Holy shit. Overreacting to <laughs> Yoshi, but oh my god. Now, here's the thing. This game doesn't let you have Mario, Luigi, and Peach together. Can you have... Fucking game. They force you to have a rabbit. Fuck this game. They really do. You can have. They force you to have Mario. But for your secondary and thir third dairy. What do you what do you call your third? Secondary? Anyway. Triple triple dairy? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, for your triple dairy, you can have a rabbit too. You can have two rabbits for your team. I don't like that. I love Peach, but dang, dude. Primary technique, egg beater. What is that? Bonus attack. A mid-range reaction shot dealt to enemies. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what they call his. The egg beater. Well, I want to know what his... Secondary is. I'm not going to put him on my team until I figure that out. We unlocked new weapons. So, that's great. I really do want to have a machine gun on the team. I don't really like the range of damage. It's one, between 135 and 265. So if I don't use a machine gun, it's within 10 for damage. If I use a machine gun, because I'm assuming they add like accuracy to it and machine guns are not very accurate. So, God, that's too much of a range. I don't even want to fight with that. What's the secondary? Oh, I haven't unlocked a secondary yet. Alright, so I have to go into the skill tree to figure that out. Oh, I got lots of orbs to use. That's cool. Yeah, he has a rocket launcher. I'm cool with my team. I'm cool with the team I got. Rabbit Luigi. He's good. Kind of want to add to his area of movement. Um, maybe increase his shield. Yeah. I like the idea of having a higher ground, high ground bonus, but I never really find myself on a high ground. Like, I did it maybe twice last night, but before that, I'm usually on the same ground level. We can cool down. I don't really care about that. I'm gonna add to his movement. For, uh, for both of them, yeah. And for that, yeah. That sounds good to me. And then Peach... Damage dealt while doing dash. You can increase the range of team jump, which would help with her team heal. I kind of want to upgrade that. But her max HP would be great at 665. Can I do both? If I do 100 and set... Nah, I can't. Shoot. Let's just go max HP with Peach. <sighs> Man. Can I take this off now? Wait, reset? 
Are you sure you want to reset all your skills? Oh my god, yeah. Does that cost anything? That's amazing. I didn't know you could do that. I thought, ah, oh, most games have you pay like some kind of currency or credits to do that. You could do it for free. That is so great. All right. Adds protection's effectiveness with nearby heroes. Protection range of effectiveness. Yeah. Takes one less turn to recharge. See, that would be very helpful. Range. Effectiveness. Okay, I like, I like that. I do. I don't really use her for dashing. I use her to heal. Oh no, wait a second. Healing jumps. Range. No, her range is okay. From default. I'm okay with that. Alright, Mario. Let's see. I, I do like to dash with him. rarely get to do the double jump, you know? I'd like to do that more often, but I feel like enemies are too far. Even if I increase this, enemies are still, I find them too far to even try. That I don't care about. I play on easy mode. Empower takes one less turn to recharge would maybe be nice. more effective yeah I like that fifty and thirty God. five off all right I like I like that Cool. Good. Three more chapters. Well, hold on. Six, seven, eight, nine. Four more. I had to count that on my fingers. Four more chapters. And what time is it? Because I beat the mid boss. Okay, I'll do one more chapter, and then I'm going to call it a night for this. I need to get over to the Division. They've got global events going on, and I kind of want to unlock some masks. Um, that's what I want to do. And now I need to know where this pipe goes. Where does this pipe go? Just to get that coin? What else is down there? Something to break. Let's go break it. Let's go see what's down there. Oh, I can't even break that. So you just come down here and you're like, Haha, you got stuck. Great, thanks for that, Ubisoft. Appreciate it. You guys are great at level design. I feel like some of this is super unnecessary. A lot of the level design was, hey, we have this pretty neat idea and then oh shit we need to make the game four worlds ten chap like technically ten chapters each world has four chapters or no nine chapters plus a secret chapter so you got four worlds ten chapters and then they're like oh we do have to populate every world with all these silly like environmental puzzles and some of them are just like worthless. Every single one of them you can solve by looking at the end 
and working your way backward from the puzzle. All right. Easy mode, baby. What are we doing? Wait a second. I have to escort. What a great, what a great mission concept. I've talked about it before, and I'll keep talking about it every time it happens. Escort missions are the worst. Everybody knows this. So how do I get there fast? We want to go... Oh, I can't go over that. Except I can break that. With, uh... The rocket launcher or the grenade. What ticks me off is this game won't let you, like, throw, right? And I guess most strat games like this never let you uh, throw or shoot at a particular object. It's just you have to always hit the enemy, right? So if you miss the enemy and you hit the object, the obstacle, that's because you were aiming at the enemy. You can't aim directly at an obstacle. I wish you could. It'd make this game, well, almost too easy. Actually, very easy. Alright, let's do this. Uh, hero site. I feel like I'm going to set this guy on fire. He's going to start running around. So we got to do the royal gaze and hero site. So we want to overdo it, baby. A little bit of New Day with Mario. I'll put her there. It's gonna be great because if I use her, she's gonna like do massive splash. That's 50% chance though. This is no chance of catching him on fire. Never mind. Okay. And this dude can't even fucking... Can't move, he can't jump. It's annoying. I'll put him there because he's not going to get hit by nothing. Now let's do this first. Ah, get that rocket. Slam. And I got some movement. Crit? Nope. That's okay. Because he's gone now. Wait, am I going to do damage to Rabbit Lu Rabbit. Rabbit Luigi? No. We're good. Overkill. Alright. Enemy turn. It's going smooth so far. Oh shit. I forgot. Are they all Valkyries? No. Just two? All right, let's go to Tacticam. Let's make sure. How many Valkyries do we have? We've got one. We've got two. We've got two. We got a peekaboo and a supporter. All right. All right, we're gonna move Rabin. So I can move, what's his face? What is that guy's name? Spawny. Great. So that was a waste of Hero Sight and Royal Gaze, by the way. I shouldn't have done it. I knew I was going to kill that guy in one move. 
or in one little turn. Such a waste. I should not have used both of those on the same turn. Oh well. I think we'll get this done without too much of a problem. Even with that mistake. Now I can't jump off anything. I can't even get Mario in good cover. Or I can't move him up to where I want to move him. I could go here and hopefully a Valkyrie destroys the cover. Might be good. Plus I've got good line of sight. Dang, I can give extra power to Peach, but not Rabbit. Okay. 50% extra damage with the weapon. I need to move her up so I can get that splash, like more of that splash damage in there. It's looking good. I think hers is doing the most damage. So we're gonna do that, for sure. Look at that. Crit and a burn. Good. We've got good range on that protection now. We can protect almost everything. Good. I didn't want to bounce him on that one, but I would love to have killed him, and I did. So, good job, Mario. Zero percent and zero percent. Enemy, enemy turn. Oh man, he like landed every shot. How did she get far up? Oh, they burned her and she walked all the way up there. Man, if this was just to reach the zone, that would have been so great. Okay, hold up. Where can Mario move again? Hold up, hold up. Give me Mario. Alright, he got some good range now, so... But, like, one square off from hitting him. So I'm gonna move Rabid Luigi, like, right there. Can Mario go there? Yeah. I wanna jump on that guy. That's the point of doing this. Oh, but I have access to the rocket launcher. I don't want to screw that up. It's not very good damage. Hmm. Well. We'll go there. Jump on his head. Want to use my hammer. That's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to jump on his head. Do more damage that way instead of dashing. And then use my hammer. God, it's going to get Rabbit Luigi. Oh well. And a bounced Rabbit. Shit. Man, he has no movement. That is so frustrating. Nice. Got him out of the way. Wait, 
don't forget to dash. If there's anything you remember from playing this, it's remember to dash. For that little bit of extra damage. Because that made the whole difference in the world, and now he'll die. And the guy over there. If I get a crit on the guy up there, he's dead too. Almost. He had like, what does he have, four life left? I think he had 50. Yeah. So close. Damn. Oh, he healed himself. He's healing and he's vamping. He's a vamper. Right, let's move up. God, I hate moving him where there's no protection. But they can't kill him in one hit, so... We're all good. I want to heal. I don't need to. Damn. Alright, where is Rabid? Shit, okay. I'm trying to think if I should even go over that far. That's a pretty far way to go just to kill an enemy. But I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I move him over there, then I can use Mario to jump on the guy's head. Like that. Get some kind of cover. This way Mario can shoot and grab it. He's probably gonna touch Mario. Okay, no. Shoot, is he still in range? I never think about that. I don't think he is. Nope. Not in range anymore. Great. So glad I did that. Oh, boy. Well, I can do a hero sight, at least. Someone's gonna die with hero sight on. Actually, he's dead. Because of Princess Peach. The thing is, I want to get an angle where I can get her to do damage to both of them. It's not gonna happen. Shit. Oh well. Feels like such a waste to use that much... that much power on 12 health, but... oh well. Look at that crit burn for just 12 health left. Yeah, that's good. Right, where's Swamp? Swampy. Been trying to do those codes. Trying to crack the code of the zoo level. Swampy Cornelius. How's it going? Uh, Alright. That game that I just referenced is a PSVR game and Vive, I guess. Maybe Oculus. It's called Accounting on PSVR. It's Accounting Plus. There's a hidden level in the game that the developer even said was in there. No one has found it. The game has been out for maybe two months now. And yeah, not even close. The developer keeps releasing codes. Maybe ciphers. I'm not sure if they are ciph ciphers. I've been trying to crack it ever since they released the codes. And it is not working. That whole Discord channel. Just 
throwing everything at the wall and seeing if it sticks. I'm trying to find that zoo level. I would love to find it. That game is fun. Playing another level would be great. But Jesus. It's impossible. The developers even bet no one would find it, right? Like, one guy said, oh yeah, they'll find it in 24 hours. I don't think he meant that. And then the main developer, William Pug. I don't know how to say his name. He's from Berlin. Pug, I think, is the way to say it. He said no one would find it within six months. And I think if they weren't doing codes and offering hints, I don't think anyone would ever find it. I mean, no, I don't even think we're on the right track. Each time they release codes or like hints, they get more on the nose with what it is. But no, no one's even close to even knowing <laughs> what they mean by any of it. So anyway, check it out, Accounting Plus. I played it on here a few times. I think I got a few of the past streams up. Humor is really awesome. They got a guy from Rick and Morty doing the voices. William does a lot of voices. He did Stanley Parable. He was a developer on that. Alright, here we go. Take him out. Take him out at the knees. Oh no, I don't want to shoot that way. Holy crap, I almost took out Spawny. Where do I want to go? I don't want to hit Mario and I don't want to hit Spawny. I guess here. Huh? So I think that's still going to hit Mario, but I'll take that risk. Yeah, look at that. If I move to the right, it would have hit Spawny. I, like, I didn't notice that before, but if you have uh, hit like splash damage squares that touch your friendlies, touch your friendlies, they let you know. Except Mario is not letting me know. Spawny definitely is. Maybe that's just for escort. Missions. Dang. Sorry, Mario. It might have helped, actually. Can I do two hits? I can. That's a nice... That's a nice feature. Vamped him. Might as well kill one. That's a pretty good hit. Ah, oh, one square off from Weaken. That's okay. We got this on the next turn. For sure. Yeah. That's no problem. Like, I think Swampy can walk right in. Ooh, I almost didn't select the right area. It would have been one square before, and I would have failed. Well, thanks for not watching the stream today. I appreciate it. Uh, if you come across... <laughs> if you come across this as a previous broadcast, thanks for watching. And if you haven't followed me, give me a follow. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't. You might receive annoying notifications because lately I go on in the mornings, sometimes around lunch, and at night. Turn off the notifications. I don't care. Just give me a follow. That will help me out a lot because I need that recognition. I just, I just crave it so much. You know? I don't know how to end streams. I just start talking and I just say nonsense but thank you for watching i really appreciate it for real from the pits 
from the pits of my heart pop. Gotta get one of those pea poppers. The PD poppers for a mic. Is that what they call it? If I go into a audio store, is that what they call those? <laughs> a music store, and I say, hey, do you have one of those PD poppers that I can get for my microphone? I think they know what I was talking about and or laugh at me. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> Good night.